Hi, Engineering Janta. I am Vaibhav Shukla, and today we are going to learn about binary search. This is another video in the free DSA series that we are building for you people so that you thrive high in your career. So, before I dive in deep into today's topic, go ahead, complete the daily rituals, follow us on various social media handles so that you never miss a hiring update. Also, Top three comments today, get Prep Insta Prime subscription for free, so do not miss out on that chance. Now I'll dive in deep and we'll straight away try learning what is binary searching. Okay. Now say that you are reading a Harry Potter book and that book has some 600 pages. Okay. Roughly I'm saying it. Assume that it has 600 pages total. Okay. And we are trying to find out the page number 450. Okay. So there are two techniques. What you can do is you go through every page and check the page number. That is linear searching. We studied it in the last video. But how can we search this more efficiently? There is one more method that is binary search. So what we do is we split the book basically not tear the book, what you do is, you open the book from the exact middle, okay? You fixed your left extreme to the first page, you fix your right extreme to the last page, you try finding out the middle of the book, you open it, and then you check whether the number that comes out on the middle page that you just opened is lesser than 450, or is it greater than 450? Say that you opened 320, that was your middle page, say that just for a while assume it so if 320 was the middle page then your value is greater than 320 that you are trying to find the page number okay it is greater so what you will do is you ignore the portion before 320 and try finding out from 320 to 600 page right then you again open the middle portion and this time you get 500 as your middle page what you do 450 is let, lesser than 500. So what you do this time is you ignore the portion after 500 and you search before 500, right? From 250 to or whatever the last number was from that to 500 or 550, whatever you get as the middle number this time, you search in between that, okay? I'll explain this to you in an even detailed manner through an array which will give you an absolute clarity. But this process of splitting it into halves and then checking is called as binary searching, okay? And interestingly, this problem is based on divide and conquer principle. This approach is based on divide and conquer principle. So what we do here in divide and conquer is, we split the larger problems into different smaller parts and then solve it, okay? But remember, for a binary search, there is a prerequisite that the array or the list on which you are applying binary search, that should be in a sorted order, okay? It should be in a sorted manner, fine? Now, I'll take one example and then I'll come to the program that was written. Say that you have these particular values. This is an array, okay? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are their indexes, fine? For those who don't know indexes, we have given you a video on arrays. Go ahead, check that video, okay? So, I told you, fix your left and right extremes. Say I denote them from L and R, okay? This is L, left index, or the leftmost extreme that I have fixed, L. And then this is R. This is the rightmost extreme. What you do is, you calculate the middle of them. How do you do that? This mid is nothing but L plus R by 2. And you take the floor value of these. What is the floor value? I'll show you. Don't worry. So what you do is, here, 0 and 6 are the indices. You add them. 0 plus 6 by 2, which is nothing but 3. Now mid comes out to be 3. So mid will point to this particular index. Say that you are trying to find out 90. Okay. You are trying to find out this value, 90. So, in this case, you will check the value which is pointed by the mid, that is at the index 3. Is it smaller than 90 or is it bigger than 90? It is definitely smaller than 90. So, you ignore the portion before 70 or before your mid. You ignore that portion. You ignore this whole left side partition. What you do is, 
you increment this left extreme you add mid right this is mid as index you update this particular index as mid plus one you update it as l okay now your left extreme is this your right extreme is still the same place it was before okay now you calculate the mid again i told you to repeat that process what you do is now you calculate for four and six so four plus six by two is nothing but ten by two which is five right so it will point here mid will point here now if you check 90 is lesser than the value which is present at the index pointed out by mid so you ignore the right portion you update the rightmost extreme how do you do that you update it using mid you ignore this whole right side array because you have to search from this side now now you update it as r the new r would be mid minus one okay so the r would point this value now l and r are pointing at the same index what you check now you add four plus four you add them again you try to find out mid okay and it comes out as four only now you check whether at mid the value is present or not whether it is greater or whether it is smaller it is neither of them it is neither greater nor smaller because it is equal to the value that you are trying to find so you have found the value fine you have finally found the value that you were looking for you return this index and you say that at the index 4 we have our desired value this is what we are going to do in the program the same thing we are going to do in the program i'll show you see first we'll talk about the portion which is the main portion right in which we simply assign values and execute the function right so what happens here is you have this array 3 5 7 9 12 15 16 18 19 22 i'll draw this here don't worry so that you have a better understanding of things okay 3 5 7 9 12 15 16 this is 15 this 15 looks quite crazy i guess we don't want a drunk 15 right so i'll improve it 15 16 18 19 and 22 so this is basically the array that we are having right now in this array if you carefully look this is a sorted array this is sorted in ascending order right now with this sorted array we try and find out the number of elements present in the array how do you get it size of the complete array divided by size of the first element i have explained this in the previous video you can go ahead and check this particular portion for the linear search and then you'll find what's happening here okay this is not nothing but the whole size of the array is divided by the first element the space occupied by the first element what you get is the number of elements simple mathematics okay so here you get this size as 10 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 are the indices okay so there are total 10 elements inside this array now n is equal to 10 item is 7 you are trying to find out this particular value how do you do it you'll pass on this array this n and this item to the function binary search but in a different manner what you'll do is you'll pass array you'll pass the first index which is the leftmost extreme which we said and then n minus 1 which is 10 minus 1 9 which is the rightmost extreme and then the item that you're trying to search for okay now this particular function would return an integer which would be an index so that index would be given as the returning value it would get stored in position and then if position is minus 1 then you will say item not found if it is some positive value if it is not minus 1 basically then you would simply mention found at index this this and then the position value would come here okay so let's come to the function portion how the function is executing in this you pass the array this array comes here you pass the leftmost extreme as i told you which is zero right now you pass the rightmost extreme which is nine right now initially and then you pass on the item which is seven you're trying to find out seven here right now look carefully while l less than equal to r until this particular left extreme is less than or equal to r until then this loop can function as soon as this 
crosses the R or this becomes bigger than R, say R is 4 and L is 5, then this would this loop would not work. Okay. So till that case, here 0 is less than or equal to 9, which is true, it is less than 9. So what would happen is you come and compute the mid. 0 plus 9 by 2. How do you compute that now? This is 4.5, remember? Now I had told you one thing, we'll take the floor of this value. So how do you get the floor of this value? The floor of this would be 4. So it would simply point out at this index. Mid is pointing out at this index now. Okay. So when you check mid, if array mid equal to equal to item, you simply check whether the value at mid is the desired value or not. You are trying to check whether it is 7 or not. It is not 7. So this would not execute. This if portion would not execute. You will go further. You will check whether this is the particular value which is pointed out with mid is lesser than the item that we are trying to find. Is 12 lesser than 7? Is 12 lesser than 7? Is it true? No, it is not. It is false. So this portion, this particular portion is again ignored. Now, if this is not smaller, what we do is we update this, right? We need not to look here. Now we can ignore this right portion. We need to update our right extreme. What we do is mid minus one. Now this would be C mid minus one. This would be our new right extreme. Okay. We try searching in this. What happens is again, this whole loop will function. Now L is zero. R has become three, right? See, so zero is less than three. This works. So again, mid would be mid equals to 0 plus 3 by 2. What is that? It is, if I take the floor of it, it becomes 1, right? So now mid is pointing here. The new mid is pointing here. We can erase this mid. Wait a minute. We can erase the older mid now. We don't need it. So the new mid is pointing out at 1. Is the value lesser than or greater than the value that we are trying to find? It is lesser than item, right? So we need to ignore this particular portion and we need to update our leftmost index now. We update it and L is now mid plus 1 which, which is this. Now L becomes 2. So in the next iteration this becomes 2 and from 2 and 3 what we do is we take mid of 2 plus mid is equal to 2 plus 3 by 2. Now floor of it is nothing but this would become 2 because 2.5, the floor of it would become 2. Now, the mid would point to this particular location. Okay. As soon as mid points to this particular location, this becomes true because array of mid is 7 here and item is also 7 here. So, 7 equal to equal to 7 is true. Hence, you return the mid. Mid is nothing but 2 right now. So, the position this particular place now gets 2 as the returned value and here what you do is you simply push this as the output found at index 2. This is binary search. It is very very simple algorithm. It is just that you need to be attentive while watching this video. So note down every step and then things would be super easy for you. Okay. So that's all about binary search. Whatever you have learned in this video, go and spread it among the people. Go explain to the people who need to learn this. Okay. Teach it to your juniors. Teach it to the people who don't understand in your peers, who don't uh, understand DSA that easily in your peers. Okay. Go ahead. Explain them easily. Keep spreading knowledge. Keep doing good without any expectation. Good will come back to you. Okay. So, go ahead. Follow us on various social media handles so that you get this wonderful content again and again and you get various hiring updates so that you make your career in a very good and in a directional manner okay now top three comments get prep insta prime for free go ahead check that out that's a golden opportunity okay that's all for today all the best